It is time now for Truth or Fake, our daily fact-checking segment. I'm joined as ever by Catalina Marchandiabreu. Welcome to the programme, Catalina. Now, uh, today we're asking the question, did a refugee here in France really assault a priest during Mass? Is this true or is it fake, Catalina? Well, Tom, let's begin by taking a look at this uh, very viral video on uh, Twitter with over 5.5 million views on the platform uh, where this user claims France, a black refugee interrupts mass, assaults priests and steals the Holy Bible, hashtag, hashtag a Black Lives Matter. Perhaps it was put ironically there. Uh, this account, Izuna, uh, that is uh, regularly publishes a pro-Trump account and anti-migrant uh, anti uh, publication. So we have the same video that was also shared uh, by this user who just writes, uh, France, this user who's uh, known as a conservative commentator, uh, this video that he shared has been viewed over 6.2 million times on the platform. So let's take a look at this video that is a viral on a Twitter where we do in fact see this man who is assaulting uh, this priest uh, during mass, uh, the priest uh, remains calm, almost uh, nonchalant as the man steals the Bible and uh, leaves a man that users claim to be a refugee in France. Tom? Yeah, but did this actually happen in France, mm -hmm. Catalina? The video did not take place in France. It took place in Guyana. So how do we know? Uh, by conducting a reverse image search, we found the original video uh, posted in this uh, Facebook page of uh, the Catholic media group in Guyana. So you could see the same scene in this uh, live stream that they posted uh, where you could see if we fast forward the video, you could see this man aggressively approaching the priest, uh, a man who doesn't seem to be mentally sane. Uh, so then this video was also shared by other news, uh, local news stations in Guyana, where they report about this Roman Catholic bishop who was attacked, robbed while celebrating mass in Georgetown at the Brigham Cathedral. Uh, this post was from November 8th, 2020. So a video that took place in Guyana in November 8th, 2020. So another element right here, <clears throat> if we compare images uh, that we took from Google from inside this church to images uh, from the viral video, you can quickly confirm that it's the same uh, church as in the, in the viral claims. Uh, for instance, we have this crucifix right here with the green uh, background, the same as the one right there. Uh, there's also this statue of uh, the Jesus Christ that we could see right here, or even this fan that we see in the Google images, the same fan that we see in uh, the viral uh, claims. So the same elements in both uh, Google images and uh, the vi video in the viral claim. Okay, so it didn't happen in France, it didn't happen this year or last year or the year before. What do we know about the man who assaulted the priest there in Guyana? After this news started circulating locally, of course, this priest was uh, interviewed by many local news stations. Uh, Bishop Francis Allen, he's called, uh, told the AFP that the attacker is mentally ill. He's a mentally ill Guyanese man, uh, one of the many who come to this uh, church, although he says most of them are non-violent. Uh, other news reports also reported on the incident saying uh, that the man seems to have been under the influence at the time of this assault. So whatever the case is, we can confirm uh, that this man is not a refugee in France. He is a Guyanese a man. Uh, contrary uh, to these uh, claims, these viral claims on uh, Twitter, uh, the same claims and the same video that has been shared already uh, to spread fake news back in 2020, uh, shared by far right accounts in order to tarnish the image of migrants in Spain. Tom. Okay, well, thank you very much indeed for today's edition of Truth or Fake. Catalina Marchandiabreu, thank you.